Tonight's reading is Acts 7, 54 to 60. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Today is the festival day of St. Stephen's martyr. In the Lutheran tradition, we honor such saints as models of the Christian life. In Acts 6, Stephen is chosen as one of the seven men to take on the task of caring for widows. He did such great signs and wonders among the people that he was brought before the council and accused of blasphemy. Stephen responded to the charge with a speech tracing the promises of God from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph through Moses and through the Exodus, through Joshua, David, and Solomon. He commends the council, he, he condemns the council and the people saying that they have always persecuted the prophets and rejected the Holy Spirit. He declares that they have now betrayed and killed the righteous one. For this, the council stones him. As he is dying, Stephen sees Jesus about whom he has testified, sitting at the right hand of God. Stephen's testimony serves as a reminder to us that all the history leads up to Jesus, who came to dwell bodily on the earth, and it points us to the heavenly rule of the Son of God, who will one day return to earth and restore all creation. King Jesus, you rule the heavens, sustaining all that you have made, Guard and keep me until the day of your glorious return. Amen. We continue our evening devotion with praying Luther's evening prayer. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day, and I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. <laughs> 